Hey, I'm Eric Lee, Product Manager here at Confluent. Today, I'm super excited to be talking to you about our connector portfolio, the easiest and fastest way to connect external systems to Apache Kafka. Every company faces the problem of needing to connect their systems and apps to share data. Still, under the hood, data architectures typically look like a web of tightly coupled data systems filled with point-to-point -point integrations. As you can imagine, this type of complexity is prone to data silos, data quality issues, and data loss from cascading failures. Batch-based ETL pipelines are responsible for data movement, making it difficult to move data reliably at scale and extract insights in real time. Connectors solve these challenges by decoupling data sources and syncs through Apache Kafka. They simplify your data architectures so that you can easily accommodate new systems and changes down the road while containing the area of impact when a system goes down. Connectors also facilitate reliable and consistent data movement, providing schema and order management even at a massive scale. Open source Kafka comes with the Kafka Connect framework for building connectors but it can be a lengthy process that sometimes requires months of design, development, and testing from dev teams. And that's not all. After building the connectors, you have to manage the inner workings of connect infrastructure, including configuring and scaling connect workers while taking the responsibility of any unplanned downtime. Investing your team's time into building connectors doesn't add differentiated value to your business and instead takes time away from building streaming applications. That's why Confluent offers over 120 connectors built by Kafka experts so that you don't have to build your own for popular data systems that everyone uses. Most of them are also available as fully managed on Confluent Cloud, making it possible to integrate your data systems in minutes with just a few clicks. For your homegrown systems and custom applications, Confluent also offers custom connectors where you can bring your own connector plugins while we manage the underlying connect infrastructure. Our cloud connectors allow you to eliminate the perpetual operational burdens in managing connectors, reduce the risk of downtime, and shift your focus back to your core business. They are fully managed across the stack and include private networking options, expert support, and the same uptime SLA as your Kafka cluster. Connectors also enable you to build streaming data pipelines that modernize your tech stack by easily bridging legacy systems to cloud technologies. We have connectors for change data capture, data stores, data warehouses, and data lakes, just to name a few categories. Last but not least, Confluent's fully managed connectors come packed with productivity features like single message transforms and instant connector configuration validations to improve efficiency and streamline your workflow. Let's take a look at how to provision one of our most popular managed connectors, the Amazon S3 Sync connector. To start, log into your Confluent Cloud account and click on connector. In the left navigation, select or search for the Amazon S3 Sync connector. We we'll now begin the configuration steps. First, select the Kafka topic you want to connect from the topics list. Then select how you want to provide your Kafka credentials. We'll choose global access. Generate and download your API key in secret, then click continue. Next, we'll need to provide our sync system authentication, which in this case are our S3 bucket credentials and name. We'll go ahead and copy and paste our AWS credentials and enter our bucket name. However, Let's say, as an example, that I misspelled the bucket name field and click Continue. Confluent will validate these values entered on this page, and we can see an error has occurred for the bucket name field. Let's go ahead and enter the correct S3 bucket name before proceeding to the next step. On this page, we'll provide the connector configurations. You can select the input value format and output message format. We'll use Avro for both. Then select the time interval that you want messages to be grouped into folders. We'll choose hourly. We'll leave the flush size to the default of 1,000. Hidden here within the dropdown are advanced configuration options so that you can further customize your connector configs to fit your use case. This is also where you would enter any SMTs if you're looking to perform lightweight transformations like filtering or masking a sensitive field. The last step is sizing, and you can leave the task size at the default of one. Finally, we'll review the configuration summary and then launch the connector which in most cases takes less than 10 seconds to deploy. The status of the connector should change from provisioning to running. Within seconds, we should see messages populating within your S3 bucket. We'll open our S3 bucket topic folder in each subsequent folder until we see the messages. And here you go, you've successfully launched the connector. Confluence Connector Portfolio is ever expanding 
and we're constantly adding new features and functionalities to provide you with fast, frictionless, and secure integrations. So what are you waiting for? I encourage you to go to Confluent Cloud and try our connectors today.